On July 14th, local veterans met up at the Hopkinton Senior Center for the monthly veterans breakfast. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We lead us in a prayer for as usual, Hopkinton Fire Chief Stephen Slammon was in attendance at the breakfast, but after some delicious breakfast, Chief Slammon took some time to inform veterans of a safety program meant to help seniors reduce the potential for an accident at home, such as tripping or a medical incident. And there's a number of people that love you guys and that want to ensure that you're safe. And we have someone with us today that frequently shares our breakfasts and I think has some words of wisdom that can benefit us. Chief Slammon, please. Our uh, wisdom in front of these guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I promised I'd keep it like to the two minute mark, so I'm shooting for it. Um, community risk reduction has been one of my goals as a fire chief. Instead of going out and meeting you with an ambulance or a fire truck, I want to try to get into some prevention. So this year we started up a safer uh, program where we got a grant from the state to help seniors with uh, safety. Um, the only way it really works is if I get some type of uh, connection or partnership with you. Um, my greatest connection to the seniors right now is through the veterans, so uh, I really uh, I kind of need you to help me get the program moving some. I look at it or envision us helping each other. Um, everybody's got a lot of pride. We have in the fire service, military background. It's hard to ask for help, and I need you to try to help me kind of break that barrier down a little bit so we can kind of help each other. Uh, I don't want to be intruding in people. Um, why do I come at it? with you. I've been talking about this with Mr. Alicio's uh, wife and the program here at the Seniors and then Hank and I have been saying, seeing recently that a couple of your members have had trip and fall significant injuries. And I, I sit there and I say, look at what the veterans have gone through and right now we're, you know, we'll have somebody get severely injured on tripping on a carpet or a loose rail or something like that and I, I want to work on seeing if I can get that part out of the way and get as many years out of everybody enjoying each other as possible. So that's kind of my goal. Um, education's the big thing. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to educate you today. Um, the wisdom that I try to impart is if we can work together um, in this program, I can bring things like offer smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. I can offer helping repair a railway, um, putting in a map that maybe you don't trip over. Um, we're just rolling this out. We're gonna shoot for the end of the summer to really get it. I've been working with the Senior Center, but Hank and I have been saying all of a sudden we've had these trips recently and we just, we wanna get ahead of it. So my ask is please look at us at the fire department, see if we can help you. You can do it, call me, do it, go through Hank if that's comfortable, fine. You know, help the guy next to you maybe make the call or invite us in. Um, I, I, I envision me coming to your house and us just taking a peek and trying to lower some hazards. I'm not doing an inspection. I'm not writing up tickets. Um, I'm not invading your privacy. I just want to help lower the risk if I can. And, um, and I hope that you can kind of help me with that partnership. So just a quick, on the educational things, we're just talking about um, taking your time, exercising some, identifying pieces of carpet and railings that are loose, um, and then allowing us potentially to, to line up somebody to fix it. And the program is designed so that we'll cover the cost. So how far will it grow? I don't know yet. We just started with the Senior Safe Grant this year, and the more we do, the more we can expand it. So that's my talk. If you have any questions, let me know. Please do the partnership, okay? I've been uh, attending the veterans breakfast for a little over a year now. Uh, great group of people. It's uh, it's kind of my chance to get connected to the seniors. And uh, the reason I talked today was uh, we've had a few incidents of uh, trip hazards that um, 
you know, I get worried about the level that seniors run into with trip hazards. And uh, these guys have lived some tough lives and they made it through a lot. And I hate to see somebody have a problem now because of a simple trip hazard that we might be able to work on. So I'm focusing on prevention right now. I'm trying to build a partnership with the veterans and the seniors. And uh, we just received a grant a few months ago that allows us to have some uh, uh, tools to work with to work on things like carbon monoxide detectors, smoke detectors, putting down mats that uh, are not prone to tripping, maybe fix a rail that's loose on somebody, um, and just to get in and maybe visit and identify some hazards and do it as part of a risk reduction versus having to show up with an ambulance or a fire truck. So that's my goal. It's uh, hopefully a low cost um, benefit for everybody and uh, it was nice to be in here today to talk to the group and hopefully influence everybody to be involved. Yeah, where did you get the grant from? The grant is through the uh, uh, State Fire Marshal's Office. It's a state program. Uh, they have a safer grant that we've used to uh, work with young students and um, that lowered um, deaths of children in fires by 75% over the last 20 years. So I'm hoping this program mirrors it. I'm hoping that there's some type of significant reduction in injuries to seniors um, in that same avenue. So it's a, kind of a low cost, hopefully high improvement to whether it's a quality of life issue or whatever we can do to help the seniors. And is this the first year that the Hopkins Fire Department has been involved in the grant? Um, we've done the SAFER grant with the kids for years. This is the first year that I know of, of the senior SAFER grant. It's only been out for a couple of years. So um, I just have one of my firefighters, uh, Sarah Jordan, is um, writing news articles right now with safety tips that comes out in the flyer that they have uh, here. So we did something this month on uh, electrical safety pieces to look for. And again, we're just trying to build a relationship with the seniors. Um, I work a lot with the veterans, so that's kind of my avenue in and uh, see what type of results we can get over the next few years.